Guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. Hold on, uh, something's getting in my eyes. That's the stench of patheticness here. Not you, you guys and gals, my supporters. I mean the people who think it's uh, funny to make false p-word accusations about uh, my random guests on my uh, panel. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Ha ha ha! Doing the same uh, scumbag thing that Keemstar used to do. Luckily stopped, luckily, but it was a thing that happened in the past in YouTube history. Glad this uh, quite original uh, repeating the same thing there over and over. And these glasses protected me from the friggin' patheticness of that. It's insane. Apparently some of the same stuff happens to King Cobra. I tell him, leave his comments uh, open so those idiots can expose how stupid they are with making fake accounts. Like, they literally... They took some of my trending videos that YouTube's recommending the most, and they take the the name of the person I'm talking about and try to pretend their account of that, or they'll make stupid thing Texas Johnson or whatever stupid friggin' names there that are all completely related and obviously fake accounts and saying, yeah, I agree, it's true about this guy, yeah, he is this word, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but, yeah, you think I'm going to trust a bunch of fake accounts I'd never seen before, ever, over accounts who've been around and been on my panel lots of times? <laughs> you, you got a fat chance. I, I think they're gone. Uh, I ain't joking, my ass. It's not funny doing that. Like, some, some people's lives have gotten seriously ruined because of, say, Keemstar, when that uh, happened in the past. He's not doing it currently, but it happened in the past. That's all I'm saying about that. Regardless of whether you love him or hate him or not, I don't feel either way. I don't like him. I don't hate him. He's just some guy on the internet to me. And it's the way it should be to most people who have a healthy mind. Sure, I make some tweets and stuff, uh, just trying to aggravate him sometimes, but yeah, that's about it. Like, responding with a meme saying drama alert interview with Dr. Angola, stuff that's too edgy for YouTube. <laughs> And just to make fun of it, showing how an interview with a, a drama alert interview, I titled it Deleted Drama Alert Interview. It's clearly a parody. I label it as the such and all that. It's pretty funny. And what's not funny is things like that. That's like beyond, man. Like, luckily, these people are just random accounts doing these. this. Just please, like, let them show their stupidity. Um, that's my advice for King Cobra. If I can give any to him, he's he pretty. He's a bigger channel than me. But I'm just. If I got anything that new I could show, I'd, I just want to do it. That's all. But that's just my opinion, you know your channel, man, but I just want to pass off anything that I might, like, uh, same thing with you, like, I would love to hear things that you can pass off that I might have not known, you know, that's all I intend with that, basically, by saying keep the comments open, plus I'll, I'll jump in there from time to time and completely destroy them in the argument. The, the, the only response they're going to come up with is either, you look like uh, you haven't showered in weeks. Just stuff like, um, like um, stuff you'd hear. And it's funny, these are grown people. That's what's hard to believe, that these are actual grown people. Writing these responses like you look you look like you stink stuff like you would hear in elementary school But you know these are full-grown adults. That's the worst part So whoever is doing that stuff is really pathetic more than likely father of two Because he's all butthurt about losing his YouTube channel. I didn't I didn't lose my YouTube channel I chose to take it down. Yeah, that's a load of friggin BS and we both know it 
he constantly started harassing people online and trying to get the internet fame that way, which is literally against guidelines. So you're going to get your account removed, obviously. Oh, yeah, and recent update, I got a um, 500 gigabyte card there. So now I can't even run out of memory if I try. Maybe the streams will run a bit better. I'm going to try cleaning out that second um, router later. The f fans and all that. It could be something to do with that, maybe. And I'll check and see how that goes, anyway. And now we're going to do a short cut so I know which is the intro and which is the outro. <laughs> so, we'll be back in a second. But, yeah. It's not funny to go around trolling about stuff like that, man. You just, it, you, it, it's not funny. You just look like another, uh, an older version of Keemstar, you know? Like maybe Keemstar has, mm, cha he has changed with that si situation. A lot of the accusations, like James Charles and stuff, that's all been reported by multiple sources. So that was not false. It's just surprising he's not doing jail time. I don't know how he's not, to be honest. But, I mean, to get into that, I friggin' there's no point of it. He's obviously gotten away with it. It's terrible to think in the world, you know, but the world's a horrible place, I guess. We just gotta try to cope with it, I guess. But it's not funny doing that. You, you're you're trying to oh yeah it's funny ha oh, ha oh, ruin someone's life blah 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 doing it and like yeah. Uh, any of my moderators who see those same names popping up, if I can just ban them. And I trust Rage Talk that and that is BS about that guy. I I just took him off the stream because I didn't want him to have to deal with that. You know, that's the only reason I took him off. I don't think he's showing a foul image on the there. I think that because these were the, all those same accounts saying that. So I just I I just took him off for a, to try to protect him from that because it seems like just an old guy trying to YouTube panels and probably doing wood shop uh, content, just trying to keep. A decent audience, you know. I don't think you want. I want to get block them from that toxicity. That's the only reason I took you off the panel, man. I just didn't want that to happen because that's ridiculous with people like that. They they're sad and pathetic people who do that. Like you know, like. At least Keemstar learned from it, but these people will never learn from it. They probably spent their whole entire lives to dedicating themselves to making false P-word accusations that never get even seen because they know <laughs> they're friggin' BS. Like, why don't you go after the people who actually have credible stuff about, like James Charles and stuff? You, you may be making a bang and going after those people who actually have some real proof to it, you know? It's kind of stupid. You're going after small YouTubers and stuff like us there, because probably because n none of those people pay attention to you. Like, no one's going to pay attention to you doing that. They're just going to think you're just a pathetic loser. Unless you're presenting friggin' receipts and stuff like these people have with the other situations, then there's no point in it. I don't see what you're gaining from it. Self-satisfaction? What? I don't know. It's baffling to me, and it's probably baffling to a lot of scientists. So, and just know I'll destroy, rebuttal all of those with fact and logic. That's all. No false accusations like they love to use. But I really appreciate all my supporters lately. It means a lot, and thanks, King Cobra, for coming into the stream. Really appreciate you showing up. And just remember, like, that's what I would recommend anyway. 
keep the comments on so their stupidity it gets exposed and by them doing it even more and spamming it they're just boosting your video and the algorithm because people are going to be reading the comments and seeing how stupid they are remember all those thousands of accounts that could be are commenting that they can all be the same person it, it's don't believe that it's more than one person i guarantee all of this is being run by one person only one sad pathetic person who's got to de dedicate his entire life to friggin making this many accounts to friggin to do this stuff so just remember that king cobra the d'angelo army's got you back too so and I got a friend with autism too. He comes on all the time. He's per perfectly normal. So if they're bullying you about that and putting comments, leave them up. Because leaving those comments up are just showing how horrible these people are. Because autism is just like an anger. To, to problem. They're acting like it's something completely different. So they're the idiots for even saying that. So just remember that, man. Okay? So, um, that's just what I would say to myself anyway. So, that's all I'm trying to do there. I'm not trying to tell you how to run your channel or whatever. I'm just, I'm just giving you a bit of what I would sit to my own brain, you know. And I would love to hear the same from anybody else. Constructive criticism, all that. Respect all that, you know. And I respect all you who follow me. And I always try to respond to as many people as possible in the comments. And I thank you so much for all the support recently. I'm glad I got this memory card. So huh, I'm not going to be running out of memory ever anytime soon. So thank you so much for watching anyway. Um, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, um, merch, all that stuff, link in the description, donation button, all that. And I'll even put King Cobra's channel in. I just gotta find it through after editing process and all that. So, yeah, until next time, D'Angelo Pitcher, and I am peacing out.